So my footage has been stretched incorrectly. It's just odd. So uh, Command K, and I'm going to go to my as pixel aspect ratio and make sure that this is square pixels. Hit OK. Yeah, there, there we go. That looks normal to me. All right. So um, in After Effects, it's called After Effects because you can apply effects, lots of different kinds of effects. And the effects, if you have uh, effects, can be listed here. And these are all grayed out because they don't have a layer selected. Once you have a layer selected, then the effects will be listed up here. Okay. So uh, these are the. This is what is makes After Effects really, really powerful. Um, takes time to learn how to use all of these. So to, to an apply an effect, there's uh, two ways. One is to see go to your effects and presets panel. Uh, and if you don't see your effects and presets panel, that is uh, command five, command five. So that's the keyboard shortcut for the effects and presets panel. You can search, and what I want to search you to search for is the word blur, okay, the word blur. Now there's many, many kinds of blurs. Um, it's a common thing to put on. We're gonna choose the fast box blur. Now, uh, there's two ways to apply it. One is to have a layer selected first and then double click on the, the, uh, the uh, effect that you want. So double click. And the way you know it's been affected is if you, you can see it two ways. One is you'll see this effect control panel up here. And if you don't see it, that is F3. F3 will show the effect control panel and you can see that that's been applied. Another way to see it is click on your layer and type the letter E for effect and you'll see that that's been applied. Okay, so let's undo the application. And another way to apply it is to simply take your, so now we don't have any effect, right? It's all gone. Another way to apply the, the effect is to just click on your effect and drag it onto the composition. So now you can see it's there and there. Okay, so that's how you can uh, you can apply an effect. The next we'll show you how to uh, change the parameters.